Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Steve. Uh, we're going to talk today about CPT, uh, Cognitive Processing Therapy for PTSD, uh, session number 10. We've got session 10 today's, and then we've got session 11, which will be next week's, and then we'll talk about the follow-up or session 12 at the end of our session 11 session uh, or overview. Boy, that was a lot of sessions at one time. Um, <clears throat> so today let's focus on 10. If you remember last week, uh, we were working on power and control. Power over ourselves, power over others, control over ourselves, control over others. And we had done some uh, challenging beliefs worksheets, filled those out, tried to get them tailored to the power and control mix. Um, again, stuck point log, I know. Exciting, I have a bunch of those. Um, and then the challenging worksheets around power and control. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, you know, that was, a, that was a tough one for me, power and control, because, uh, well, I feel like I'm out of control sometimes. So just being real about it is, um, very difficult. Um, Hypervigilance is huge with me, so I'm constantly wondering about, you know, the power and control of others, etc. So during this session 10, you walk through those challenging beliefs worksheets and you process how you deal with power and control, right? But also, and this is different from all the other sessions, you get a ways of giving and taking power handout. And this handout is specific to what we actually did during the last one, but it feeds right into this week's module, which is gonna be we're introducing esteem, self-esteem. Um, it's, it's an interesting module. <clears throat> so this handout, ways of giving and taking power handout, um, talks about positive ways to give power, positive ways to take power, and negative ways to give power, negative ways to take power. Um, kind of will help you balance out what you did in your worksheets and make it a little bit more um, thought-provoking, just for lack of a better term. So you go through that, <clears throat> and hopefully that will help keep you uh, lined out with, with the rest of power and control. And then, like I said, we're gonna talk about esteem. So the esteem issues module is one, two, three, four pages, four pages big. Um, <clears throat> esteem beliefs related to yourself, beliefs in your own worth. Um, such beliefs are a basic human need, being understood, respected, taken seriously, developing yourself, stuff like that. Um, you know, it goes through the same format as the previous weeks. Uh, you talk about your prior experiences, negative and positive that you have with your self-esteem. <coughs> I'm still getting over some respiratory stuff. <coughs> it's been a long road. So uh, pardon my coughing throughout this. Um, and it talks about symptoms associated with negative esteem, depression, guilt, shame, uh, possibly self-destructive. Um, and that really in and of itself, self-esteem I think is one of those things where <clears throat> if you lack a whole bunch of self-esteem, esteem, you are more likely to go pursue some self-destructive behavior or do things that could potentially impact the rest of your life for however long that may be without actually saying it. Um, if this is you, if you're dealing with that, 988, just 988, dial 988 on your phone, just get it done. Um, and if, if, you know, if you need anything else, else, other kinds of help, if you need the VA to get involved, they have a veterans crisis hotline that you can call as well. Um, so please, if you're struggling with self-esteem, you're struggling with self-worth, and you're starting to feel like, hey, this just isn't worth it anymore, man, don't, don't do that. Call, call for some help. 
Uh, I, I understand those feelings, sadly. Um, I, I say sadly, but I can identify with a lot of those feelings. I've had those feelings in the past. I've had those thoughts. I've been down that path. Um, man, I would hate for anybody to go down that path, quite honestly. So please seek help. Um, so that's esteem issues <coughs> related to self. And now we're going to talk about esteem beliefs related to others. Beliefs about how much you value other people. And one of the other things that I've noticed specifically with veterans is that we have a higher value on people's lives around us than we do on our own. And I think that's a, it. Well, I don't think it's a taught culture. It's a learned culture. We were taught your teammates, your group, your platoon, your team, your whatever it may be, right? Your battalion, your whatever, all of that, everybody else, the team is more important than a single individual. And so we've had a lot of that pounded into our heads and it's, it's hard to break out of that shell because number one, you never want to get away from that feeling. But number two, you need to start having some self-esteem as well. <clears throat> hey, I am worthy, right? I am here. I am worthy. I am worthy of breathing. I'm worthy of being this side of the grass, right? So, <clears throat> um, esteem beliefs related to others, obviously. Beliefs about how much you value other people. Realistic views of others are important to your psychological health. Um, how you view other people is a big deal. Uh, it says a lot about your character. It says a lot about who you are. And again, I believe that veterans are more apt to have better esteem for others than they do for themselves. Um, so I concentrated during this module on my own self-esteem, right? Um, but symptoms associated with negative esteem beliefs about others, some of those are chronic anger, just getting pissed off all the time at other people. Um, contempt, feeling contempt, uh, bitterness, cynicism, uh, disbelief when you're treated with genuine caring compassion. Um, I struggled with that for a long time. Um, I, I am a Christ follower. I am, you know, I've been to church. Um, I've also left churches because I felt like everybody there was just way too fake sometimes. Um, I have found some very, very good churches out there. Not all churches are horrible. Not all churches, well, no churches are perfect. The church is only as, as growing a group and a tightly knit type of a family as you let it be. And if you've ever been to a family event, you know those things don't always go well. So um, I'm off my soapbox now. You don't have to worry about me preaching anymore. But... Um, so you're gonna concentrate on these esteem values, right? Self-esteem, um, you're gonna talk about esteem, having to deal with others, the respect and views of others. Um, and then we're gonna come back. <clears throat> you're gonna get six more challenging worksheets, challenging belief worksheets. I know, it's exciting, isn't it? No, by this point, it's not exciting. You're probably feeling like, hey, I'm writing the same things over and over. You are. You're writing the same things over and over. Keep doing it. That's what I can tell you. Keep doing it because it's helping your process. Um, or at least it helped my process a lot to keep doing it. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take one for each day of the week uh, between now and the next session, and you're going to complete those. So <clears throat> do that. Look out for one another. 988, if you're feeling like things aren't going so well and you're not excited about being here anymore, um, the Veterans Crisis Hotline, I will put in the description below. Um, please leverage those resources. I, I don't want to lose any more vets. I don't want to lose any more active military members uh, to take in their own lives. It's just not, it just seems wrong, right? Uh, for people who have sacrificed and done the things that I believe, you know, all veterans have done. Um, it just doesn't make sense to me taking your own life. So, um, 
please get some help. Look out for one another. If you know somebody that needs help, be a friend, be an ear. Let them scream, yell, complain, whine, moan, tell you about how crappy their life is, and you sit there and just absorb it. It's the best thing you can do for somebody that's going through this pain. All right, take care of each other. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind. Uh, really helps me get the word out and keep these videos going and reaching the right populations. All right, take care. See ya.